Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of the Xbox Gaming Showcase for the month of July. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me as always is Alex. How are you, Alex? I'm doing very well. How about you? I'm doing great. We're going off a pretty decent conference i feel pretty good mm-hmm. i'm excited I'm to talk psyched. about it we have not really yes. talked about it yet um yes. so i'm excited to get into this but alex before we get into it let's do a little keeping of houses if you don't know us well then you're about to we are easy achievers gaming podcast you can see us right here every friday coming straight to your ear holes on YouTube and podcast services of your choice. You can like us, comment, subscribe, share, all the good things to help the achievers succeed. And of course, if you like us even more than that, we welcome you to go over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. You can give us a dollar there. That gives you an exclusive every single one. Two bucks. That gives you every episode early. I can go on and on with all the benefits you can do. You can give us any question, comments, concerns, thoughts, or ideas through the Patreon message service on there direct access to us you get to build the show with us financially and with your thoughts and if you're free loader don't worry don't worry alex is as well you can go over everywhere five stars everywhere like us everywhere go to our socials at evm9000 at crave slip skaters give us all the likes retweets comments interact with the community and we'll all have a good time this is a pretty straightforward episode of your Easy Achievers Game Pox. This is about the Xbox Gaming Showcase and what they went over and what happened during there. Me and Alex are very excited to get into it. Alex, mm. I don't care about what you've been playing, but mm-hmm. for instance, let us pretend like I did. Alex, I have a question. Mm. What have you been playing very quickly? I've been hacking and slashing him being a samurai. Yeah, me too. I've been hacking and slashing. Ghost of Tsushima, very for we were. I want to get into this. So, top bar, Ghost of Tsushima is decent, very good. It's like the most seven out of ten game I've probably played in a long time. Hmm. Um, glitches galore. I don't know how glitchy your game is, but um, I haven't hit anything substantial. But there are bugs. Um, Explain like. I'll yeah, give what, what, I'll give two I'll, I'll give two examples. So one, okay. uh, I, there's bears in this. I go up to a bear. There's yeah. this bear is fighting bandits. Um, the move this bear does is grab a bandit by uh, uh, like on its torso with its mouth, and you know does the little rock rack back and forth, right? Like bears do, they bite. Mm. Now I kill the bear with this guy in his mouth. The animation is still going through, so I kill the bear. The bear is now on the floor. This guy is now flailing in the air like some sort of wizard genie that I just summoned from the great beneath. Um, And he then flies probably 30 feet into the air and then crashes down to the earth um, like a rock. Uh, That is one that happens every time I do that, by the way. And then second one, what's another one I can give that's funny? Uh, what's What's another one? Um... Oh, uh, when assass- when assassinations don't go off perfectly. So, like, if you go to assassinate somebody, um, I don't know oh, what happens, sure. but but if if you're, I, I guess, too much to... Th- I don't know how it happens, but you'll go to assassinate somebody, and then um, the their character model is a little bit to the left. So it looks like mm-hmm. you're stabbing the air, but, but the guy's still dying. Uh, it's very strange. Uh, it's that. very strange. Very strange. But yeah, that, that's a little bit of the things. Many, I don't think I have had. I haven't had those glitches. I think I had one that I really noticed to where like once I finished a certain area, like to do a certain thing, uh-huh. it didn't tell me what to do next. Like I like I finished this like this campsite or whatever, and it's like oh you know grab the banners or whatever, but it didn't tell me to do so. So I'm over here running around trying to see if I find the last person. I did kill the last person. It's not telling me what to do, so I had to like travel out of there and then travel back, and then it, it reset itself. I'm always happy with the challenge remaining enemies. Like you hit one button, all the enemies come out, and you get to fight them, but it rarely happens. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes it doesn't happen at all. Like I just did a big kind of area where you cleared out, 
and I mm. killed everyone. But, like, you do the thing where you don't kill everyone, and there's, like, certain corners where there's, like, three dudes left, and they somehow have not heard the numerous murders that have just occurred, and they're just chilling, no, still sure. still enjoying their dinner. Um, <laughs> so, like, just small things like that. Here. All you hear is, oh, is it, you look up. Jimmy, did you hear that? Mm. Nah, I think it's fine. I think it's a chicken. I don't know if there's chickens here. But it's just it's one of those games that constantly remind you you're playing a video game which is good and bad Mm -hmm. this is very gamey similar to like a far cry or any ubisoft game where like you have these Mm -hmm. things you go you do it and there's a little check mark next to it now it's you feel good for doing it um yeah alex what uh what are your quick thoughts and then we'll get into the showcase i mean so far i'm enjoying it i do i i do have i wish it was better on the cinematic part, like there's certain parts in the game where, like, man, this could have used a really good cutscene, yeah, but it doesn't, yeah. And I just feel like uh, story wise, it would it would have caught me more because I do, I mean, I am a little interested in the story, but I, it's not, com- it's not, I'm not as, it's not as compelled to me as I want it to be. Yeah, there, there's like, there's but, like three things I'm interested into the story, and everything else I'm like, yeah, eh, I don't really care what's happening. See, I think with this game, it's it's. I feel like it's doing the same thing that Mafia Three did. Like Mafia Three did a, it's a really really good story, but the game the gameplay, it's just doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, repetitive is a good way yeah. of putting this game. Do you recommend it, Alex? I mean, yes, I do recommend it because it is a fun game. Like you do feel like a samurai. Like it's, it, I love the combat on this. Cool. There's one thing about I could say about the game. I do enjoy the combat a lot. Cool. I also recommend it. Now. Enough of Ghost of Tsushima. This is Xbox Day. Do you understand me? This is Xbox game. We're going to the Xbox game. And Alex, we start off with the pre-show. I don't know if you watched the pre-show, Alex. I did. I did. You did. I did, I did as well. So we start off with Dragon Quest Eleven coming to Game Pass, which is exciting for me because I've been wanting to play that game. That comes to I Game gotcha. Pass for both console and PC December 4th. Um, it has never My been... Birthday. Oh, oh, that is your birthday. I just realized that. Um, this is this is the first Dragon Quest game ever, which ma- excites me because it proves Microsoft is constantly trying to get uh, more Japanese uh, games into their yeah. into the game. So that's exciting for me. Um, moving on to Exo Mecha. This looks strange. This 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 was a bunch of mechs fighting each other, and then you were staring at the mechs while they fought. So I was very confused it, on what was happening. It's still neg- it's like a big, it's like the next free to play game, kind of like how uh, Warframe and Crossfire was. Like it's like the next yeah. big one. X yeah. So real quick, X <laughs> Omega is a free to play competitive FPS, just like Alex yep. just said. Um, it comes to Xbox One and Series X sometime 2021. Um, it looks like it's Transformer inspired. This is all being read from Kotaku, by the way. They had a really good sum up. Mm. Um, I don't. I really have no thoughts. I watched it and I was like, it, it's cool, but I'm watching the cool stuff yeah, happen. Yeah. I want to be the transformer. I don't want to be the guy staring while the two transformers fight. No, for sure. But it's, yeah, it's, it's still cool, early. But not for me. Um, e- Echo Generation is uh, which uh, literally I was like, is this Stranger Things for halfway? Like literally the, the entire yeah, time. Um, it's from the makers of Riverbond. Uh, Echo Generation is another Voxley adventure uh, filled with some creepy music, beautiful scenery, and old school turn based battles. It's coming sometime 2021. Um, and then Halo Neighbor 2, which is kind of cool. Um, so there's a Halo mm-hmm. Neighbor 2. It was announced during the pre show. It's a sequel to the first game. Um, and the follow up prequel called Hide and Seek. So there's now three games in this thing, which is crazy. Um, developer Dynamic Pixels and publisher Tiny Build have plans. Um, to make that soon yeah, so some people like this game yeah no it's very popular with um youtubers and um i hear children like it a lot too which is concerning because uh, it's pretty terrifying uh, i don't know which what was up with, i don't know what was up with those bird people but i do not like mm-hmm. them i do not like them at all uh next mm-hmm. up uh nope. we have a game i couldn't care less about uh balan wonder world uh, uh veteran uh, it's made by some yeah, yeah veteran sega cool. developers uh, they teamed up with Square Enix, and it's a 3D platformer. Uh, they uh, these co- the co-creators of Sonic and Knights um, on the I think it was the Wii, uh, Yuji Naka and mm-hmm. Nato Oshima. Uh, they have teamed up t- and made the company, and they're mm-hmm. making that goes comes Xbox Series X, PS5, Xbox One, PS4, Switch, and PC. Uh, I, I, that's one of the whatever. <laughs> All right, and that was the end of the pre. Yeah, I'm Jimmy, go ahead. 
no, I was gonna say to me, it just it reminded me a lot of Alice in Wonderland because, like, the main thing, the guy with the hat, it looks like uh, the Mad Hatter to me. Yeah, it was one of those things where it, I wish I was into it because it looks cool. It's just, or it looks visually appealing. Mm-hmm. That's I think that's a better way. But I just I couldn't care less. Um, t- uh, to be frank. Yeah. Uh, then we opened the show with Halo Infinite gameplay and a small kind of CG trailer, I guess you could say. It was really an engine, but see, it was a trailer. Um, and this is where I think the bulk of us, uh, of the talking is going to happen, Alex. We're discussing this. So they show off their sort of op- open world type cinematic venture, you'd say, and they start this gameplay. It was about eight minutes. Uh, it looks really good. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to run at 60 frames per second, apparently. Uh, f- uh when it's what did you think of starting the show with halo infinite i i i enjoy, I, I enjoyed it because i'm like you know that's what everybody that's what everybody was waiting for so like go ahead and just get it out the way get mm-hmm. everybody hyped the red off the bat so you don't have to keep people waiting because mm-hmm. sometimes you can be like you know you can have people sitting there you're like all right where's halo where's halo and they'll get bored and just leave yeah and just uh, or you'd rather, rather you just have it right up in the open you're like oh okay they're starting with halo i wonder what else they're gonna have if they started with this yeah well that that kind of like sets your expectations up it's like well if you're starting with halo like oh wow what are we getting now and that, that gets you yeah. excited um yeah. i i if you would have asked me the day before if halo infinite would have started the this i would have said no um mm. Uh, I thought it was going to end with Halo because everyone's there for Halo. So you at least keep them for the whole showcase. Um, yeah. But I don't hate where we left. So I can kind of see their meaning. I I personally would have flipped. I would have ended with Halo and start with uh, the Fable announcement. Um, yeah. Because it's kind of an open secret, basically, between insiders. I know common folk don't really know it. So I don't blame them too much for still keeping it. Because that still surprised a lot of people um i just the us like us guys who like read this stuff every day you know we we knew it was gonna happen but at least it, it was still sort of a surprise for some people now i want to get into yeah. what halo infinite is and then we can discuss some gameplay so uh, halo infinite is a little different this is from pc gamer and they had an interview on ig i believe um it's taken five years for 353 interests to make halo infinite and by the sounds of it we won't be seeing halo infinite 2 or halo 7 whatever you want to call it in the years after the release uh, quote we want infinite to grow over time versus going to those number titles and having all that segmentation that we had before uh, the studio head Chris Lee said with IGN, quote, it's really about cr- uh, creating Halo Infinite as the start of the next 10 years for Halo and then building that as we go with our fans and community. Lee called Infinite a, quote, platform for the future, end quote, but it's unclear what that means. IGN claims Halo Infinite will not be a life service game, but only for Infinite to realistically serve as a platform in place of number titles is for it to receive updates and expansions, much like a live service game. The difference could perhaps be those expansions mm. delivering wholly separate campaigns rather than tying into one ongoing story. I think that's very interesting. What do you think of this? So, off of off the bat, I go where the gentleman on PC Gamer goes. This is a live service game. They probably don't want to be tied into a Destiny game. They probably don't want to be confused with anything like that. So, they're like, we're not live service. I'm assuming we're getting more expansion-based content through Game Pass and there were the multiplayer i assume will stay will will be regularly updated like normal um i think their main con- i think their main focus is really on the the campaign right now and i don't honestly i don't know if they'll do dlc but um i think I they like will that's their main focus at least for the first year and then once they get the once and when they announced the multiplayer stuff like as uh, we were talking about before i feel like they're if they if there is the the battle royale mode i feel like they're going to put more most of their attention on that for the next couple of years yeah uh, if, it, if it if it succeeds yeah i think i think we're i think we're for sure getting updates to this we're getting some sort of update yeah. or campaign upgrade whatever you want to call it we're getting something to these because there's a reason it's called halo infinite non-number and also there's reasons that they're coming mm-hmm. out now and saying this is for a a platform similar to the master chief collection where it's like this is like a platform. This isn't really a game. This is a collection of things. So I'm th- I'm thinking in in six years we'll know what that means. Right now it's more of a question mark. Um, so yeah. that's that's all on that. Let's move over to which one do I want to do? Which one do I want to do first? There's so much that you could talk about this game. Um, let's go. Let's go over to this. So they uh, IGN did some talking with uh, uh, 
the actual head, like I told you, and Infinite's open world. So let's mm. talk a little bit about the open world. So Halo Infinite allows players to explore without being confined to levels. Chief can hop into a Warthog mm. and take on mission objectives in whatever player uh, order players choose. While there's an openness to the ring, the gameplay will always come back to telling Chief's stories. What that tells me, Alex, is... Yeah, so what that tells me, Alex, is Gears 5. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. If you yeah. if you play Gears yeah, like, Five, you know what we're talking about. Yep, when you can get to run around and then you have the little ski thing. Yeah, you essentially can do whatever you want, but it is a giant square basically, and I'm you assuming know, this yeah. is how it, this is going to be. Um, and then they yes, introduced the grappler in this. Alex, what do you think about the grappler? I honestly didn't know anything about it until when when he used that thing. I was like, oh, that was cool. So you like it? Um, no, I do like it just because um, I I honestly rather have that than the jetpack. Mm, um, you're assuming we don't have the jetpack. I well, I don't know if we will or not. But like, if we don't, I mean, I'm I I rather have this than the jetpack. I don't know. I haven't tried. I mean, we don't know how it's gonna feel. But so as far as it looks, I just feel like that the jetpack was just. I never enjoyed the, using the jetpack. Hmm. Yeah, we still have I didn't. Uh, we have a sliding, a, a sliding crouch. I didn't hate the jump pack. I kind of liked it. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, I, I, I'm curious if we're doing armor abilities, which it looks like it, because I assume that's why you have the, mm-hmm. the zip line. But I, I think it's more of um, items that you can use, kind of like like the bubble shield, and they 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 showed the four the 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 shield wall. And uh, I feel like they're going back to like this. So, so it's like another just utility. Like yeah, it's just another utility. I don't okay. think we're going to have a uh, item like the what's you, it called the uh, Halo, Halo Reach, like the armor where you can hold it and you could just sit there and be inf- yeah. like, okay, okay. No, nah. I was okay. never a fan of that. I, I didn't, I, I don't know. I, I would have to play it again, but I, I mm. don't, I don't love the armor either, or armor abilities. I do prefer Halo 3 or anything like that where it's not really tied to the armor abilities unless we're playing like warzone or something where it's like a giant box where you're just fighting a bunch of people that's Mm -hmm. about it um let's get into the weapons we saw so throughout this whole gameplay uh they showed off a couple weapons um we saw the ravager a banished three round burst energy weapon that runs on plasma fuel there's a blade on its end and increases melee damage Looks cool. Mm. Um, Mangler, a banished pistol with a giant kinetic projectiles that fires more slowly than the UNS pistol, but deals more damage. Uh, the CQS48 Bulldog rolls right out the tongue. No, uh, it's a new <laughs> riot shotgun that replaces the classic shotgun, which sucks. Um, I wish we had both, but I get it. We have to have mm. one shotgun. Um, and it's yeah. a draw magazine with a 12 gauge. Yeah, it's kind of like a. It looks like kind of like an A12. A hundred percent, it's an A12. Or uh, uh, like an Eva from Apex. Yeah, or even for me, fix yeah. VK seven eight commando. This is a another UNSC rifle. Can go full auto like, and it's good for mid long like range. Gun. It looked cool. Um, yeah. I wonder if this is replacing the BR. I don't think it will, but apparently someone saw the BR mm, in the in know. the demo. Apparently, I didn't see it, but someone mm. said I saw someone say that. I didn't. I didn't I confirm think that. This one will more likely replace. Um. The, the saw that the scout the, rifle the saw gun in halo 5 i feel like it'll replace that the, the saw the machine gun no no the, the, the saw machine gun looking thing why would that replace that yeah. i don't know if we'll get that back oh i don't know either that's that was super random i i don't know i have i don't know i, feel, I just had a feeling <laughs> mm. pulse carbine um we all know the pulse carbine familiar but it does look like it is a pulse rifle now so it's shooting three rounds r- r- rather mm. than it's just a single fire and you just keep hitting the button. Mm. Uh, that one looked pretty cool. It's like a three-round burst type of thing. Yeah, yeah, it looked cool. It's different. Um, I-, I like when they change it just a little bit so it- so everything's not the same. Um, infinite mm. progression. Uh, so Halo Infinite doesn't have any sort of experience meter, but there are upgrades in the form of items players will discover as they explore, rather than some sort of XP-based skill tree. And it's very interesting. Yeah, that's weird. 
Yeah, so I, I... I was never expecting Halo to have a skill tree, so... I wasn't either, but this just looks like making sure people know, like, hey, there isn't, like, a... You're not, like... It's not open world in, like, the sense of Shadow Mordor or something. This RPG? Is, yeah, this is just a... You, you know, this is... This, you find some stuff, you, you equip it, you're a little stronger. Again, Gears 5. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, let's see. It, it, a fresh start is something this is called. Halo Infinite is meant to be a starting point for new fans, as quote the chief and the pilot are in the exact same position as the player when the game starts, um, according to Associate of Correct, uh, Creative Director Paul Croker. Um, and then let's see. No, and then no Halo Seven. This is just a, a, a bring up on Halo Seven. We covered that earlier. There is no Seven. This is Infinite. Mm-hmm. It's just Infinite. By the way, I want to check because I forget I meant to do it earlier. But I feel like the pilot guy is the exact same voice who does Voss. I got so many different like feelings from him, like like actor wise. Mm-hmm. I I can't even land a plane on who that guy is. Um, I got like Pe- Pedro Pascal vibes. I got, like so many. I, mm-hmm. I was getting because he kept infucking inf- very interestingly, and I was like, who is, who is yeah. this dude? So I I do want to find out who that guy is um <laughs> you one thing is you can't pet the wildlife that's another thing in here um, you cannot touch them you can only shoot at them <laughs> which is sad you should be able to pet something oh for sure yeah you should <laughs> um and then players fight the banished in infinite this is what it ends on it is a rogue faction of brutes led by war chief escrum okay along with plenty of familiar covenant elites and grunts too who prominently featured in halo wars 2 interesting okay. what do you think of that infinite showcase um I, I i really enjoyed the gameplay like i thought it was cool the part where the 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 brute is talking yeah it was a little over the top to me <laughs> it was it, it they, you could tell they were really trying to sell the acting or some or maybe mm-hmm. the writing i enjoyed what he was saying what he was saying was cool he's like oh this is cool he's hyping himself and the chief up he's like basically he's yeah. saying i want to go out fighting like like i'm get, he, he's clearly old so he's like i want to go out and if i'm going out i'm i'm either dying by the chief or i'm dying with mm-hmm. the chief or i'm going to be killed by the, like 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 it, it, I did get kind of hyped. What killed it for me because I liked, I kind of liked. It, for me, it wasn't over the top, but I see, I see what you could, I see what you mean uh, by it being over the top because it is a tad, <laughs> it is a tad eating the scenery. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I thought you were about to mention Deacon. For, you know, <laughs> no, not Deacon. No, not that bad. <laughs> no, but my, mm-hmm. honestly, like if you're gonna do a close up on a character model, you need to be up, up up to date on what the facial graphics look like because be honest yeah. he looks terrible he he, he yeah. and by terrible like he's terrible because we're staring at him for a long period of time if it wasn't yeah, that sure. long or if it was f- further away i would be more either terrified or, or maybe scary when i see it there it is clearly a animated thing talking to me <laughs> like and funny, but he's, he reminds me a lot of uh, the goal guy from destiny and I'm very curious if this tech demo was made quickly or what. But, Alex, why do you... Th- and we've seen this with screenshots. This is a tech demo, so this isn't indicative of what we'll see in the game, even though we are pretty close. So either this is a segment mm-hmm. of the game or this is something that was made outside of the video game, and this is barely what we're going to see. So why do you think okay. it doesn't look great? Um, this is being brought up on Twitter repeatedly over and over again. Now, I will say if you watch the showcase either with me over on Easy Achievers on uh, YouTube or SoundCloud or anywhere you listen, um, if you watch that with me, that is being compressed. So it does look worse. Me and Alex both yes. watched the 4K version. It looks way better. It doesn't look much better, though. You know what I mean? Like, it looks way better, but it doesn't look incredible. So... Why do you think it, there is a seemingly dip in quality? Because people are bringing up, like, this doesn't look as good as normal. I think is, hmm. I mean, I think it's just because, I mean, because Halo has kind of like a certain graphics that it takes to. So yeah. I don't think they want, maybe they want to change it too much. So like, um, uh, so I'm, I'm trying to think of an example. So imagine, for example, 
Fable. You know, Fable has that cartoony feel. Like yeah. It has like, you know, it has that, 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 that art. They're sticking like to a specific a, oh, art style is what you're saying? Yes. Oh, yeah, the specific art style. So you, you know it's Fable. But imagine if they changed Fable to to more of a Fallout type like like art style. It's yeah. going to look weird. So I think maybe they were just scared of changing their art style. Or, or I don't know if they even went to... Un, I mean, they should be on Ungen, Unreal 5, or Unreal Engine 5, right? No, Unreal Unreal Engine 5. Unless you're under like a kind of partnership unreal engine 5 isn't available to anyone else until um, mid gotcha. next year um that's when like Maybe every I everyone think, can get it so they're yeah, probably working gotcha. in their own custom halo engine they probably have i would have to research yeah. it but i'm pretty sure microsoft has probably a custom just halo engine that they use yeah but no i think it's i think it's a, a an issue where like they i think they don't want to try something new with graphics because they, they I, in my opinion I, I don't think they wanted to mess it up yeah, I um, me personally, I think this is just tech demo. They made this probably outside of the actual video game. I'll be surprised yeah. if we actually do this. May- maybe we do, um, and we can only speak on this when we get closer. But I don't think we'll be seeing mo- much of this. I don't. I, mm. I think this was made specifically to show off very specific things. They meant to show off that gun at that time. They meant to show off that zip line when he grabbed the fusion coil at that time. Like this was. This seemed very like. Mm documented and like very precise so i'm assuming this is not very indicative of what the actual game will look like but i will only know that when the game comes out yeah i have a feeling that we're gonna see the flood huh i don't th- i don't know i i honestly i don't know because because that 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 plugs the heartstrings of very specific fans and, see, and the reason being, and it, I don't, it's not a, sp- a spoiler and stuff, but I was looking at the cast, the voice cast. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Yeah. And, and, there's, and, there's, many, and there's this uh, guy that says he plays a flood. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh, is that what it says? There's uh, John Moment 7, was played by Steve Downs. Yeah. Jen Taylor plays Cortana. Uh-huh. And then there's uh, Gaiosa the Pug, which is playing flood infection form and is the voice for that. And that's it. That's the only f- cast that they have right now on IMDb. I was trying to find the pilot guy, but the, he's not on there. They and dropped the ball on that one. Maybe, yeah, so maybe it's they... flood infection form. So I'm wondering because remember we read something about it where it says the banished has something to do with the flood. Oh, that is that's right. Yeah, that's when I was prepping us on the uh, teaser they did before this. Um, because he meant because he did mm-hmm. something with the flood, something I don't remember. But mm-hmm. yeah, no, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Fallout came, uh, because again, that that plugs on very specific people's heartstrings, and I mean, hey, I, I'd be excited. So so bring it on. Yeah, I think the the lore is pretty much to where I think the banished is who released the flood or grave mine or some sort. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's something about that. We can read about that later, probably, and and we'll get to you next week yeah. if it's relevant um but w- what do you think overall of that segment what what are your thoughts what uh, what did you like what didn't you like what what's up um no i i like i like i like most of it i enjoyed the guns i i like that it's uh 60 frames per second um at 4k yes so for sure I, yeah at 4k um I am, i'm glad that they kept the warhog for sure i i always loved the warhog um i'm wondering though um, I'm gonna. I'm trying, trying to think of what I was gonna say. Like, I don't know. I think I'm just skeptical with this story because of Halo Five. Oh, I, I like mean, hey, that... I get it. I get it. Also, it's yeah. the banished. Like, oh yeah, you know your favorite villain from Halo, banished. And you're like, wait a minute, who's that from? Who's oh, it's Halo Wars, Wars so Two. It's like I didn't play that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and see i feel like this is supposed to be kind of like a soft reboot so they're going back 100 halo 3 well not timeline like right isn't this after uh-huh. five this is after five. Oh uh, well i didn't i see they don't have they haven't explained that yeah well they, it did today it's seven years after five. Oh, is it really did they really say that yeah. i didn't even hear that yeah, yeah if you want double check after me but i'm pretty sure i uh heard that uh it's seven years after five uh and i'm okay. guessing we're just not going to talk about ais or eventually we will i don't know but if you remember halo 5 
who cares? I don't really care about that. Yeah. The bigger the bigger issue is there's a AI uprising that happened. Um, mm-hmm. But maybe we won't discuss it. I don't know. Uh, but he does bring up the UNSC did lose, so I'm curious on like if Earth fell, because that was like yeah. the, that was like the big thing. Like they didn't want Earth to fall, so I don't know. I'm I'm I liked this. I I, I liked it. it. It was promising. Like everything about the guns to how the warthog moved to the jump to the to the grunts going Aah! like even the noise they make when they die. Like everything mm-hmm. about it was perfect to me. Um, oh yeah, no. It, the gun sounds all sound good. Like the and even the shield backup when you re, when your health goes back up, it goes boom. Like it sounded super cool. Remember, those were made with uh, original Xboxes, right? Isn't that right, or something? Or no, mm-hmm. they were made yeah, with Xbox systems, like just any. Yeah, system. it's the, the original Xbox systems, and yeah. they're using like those magnetic things. Yeah, they were testing. Yeah, it's wild stuff. Um, but yeah, I I like I like the direction. I think the open world is fun. I love to Gears Five open world, and we get to play co op. So I mean, it's even more fun. I mean, come on. Yes. So I, I'll I'm excited. We're getting it on Game Pass, so it's like ridic- It's ridiculous. First off, we're getting this on Game Pass. Like, what is happening? Um, yeah, like, let's you gotta, we gotta say something about that. They said most of, pretty much. No, no, did no. They say all. No, most no, of this game no, did. no. Not most. All everything we saw today yeah, is on Game Pass. That is mind blowing. That yeah, a service that is ten dollars a month is giving you everything you just saw. And it's technically fifteen a month if you have gold with it ultimate yeah if you pay for ultimate yeah. it's 15 so it's it, whatever you pay 10 or 15 you're getting everything you just watched yeah it's crazy me and alex can literally talk halo infinite for actual days but let's move on and if we want to get back to it we can get back to it but next up was i actually called this um i'm surprised i did but it was state of decay 3 uh state of decay yes. 3 was announced uh sadly it was announced in a unfortunate way, in my opinion. Uh, very quickly after this came out, the State of Decay 2 Twitter uh, tweeted out, we're excited about the announcement that State of Decay 3 is in early pre-production, and we're looking forward to having more to share in the future. In the meantime, if you're new to the franchise and want to see what it's all about, State of Decay 2 is on sale across all platforms until July 29th. I will say that pre-production. They're in early pre-production. That means they haven't figured out the story yet, and they haven't figured that cutscene that we saw. That's probably that we'll probably never even ever see that again. Uh, that I was so excited for State of K three, and then I read this, and I'm like, this game is coming out in 2023 at the earliest, unless no, for sure. it is wildly drawn back and it is not what i want because i want a yeah. <laughs> i want them to be given a chance to make a big zombie game because state of decay oh, 1 sure. was really fun state of decay 2 was state of decay 1 again but it ran a little better and had a couple more features i want them yeah. to be given a suite to make a big awesome game and i'm hoping that's what they do i'm hoping that's what we get I'm hoping it's just not another state of decay. I, I like if they. I felt like if they're just given a little extra money and time, they can make something really nice. I was surprised that they announced this so early because when I saw it, it said state of decay three. I'm like, really already? Because it's two. I mean, it's just got the brand new DLC and stuff. Like, I'm surprised it's even that's being true. announced. It did just get DLC and again. They say early pre pro. Early. Yeah. That's not, that's not that's not a small thing for a video game. That means you're at least three years before you're releasing oh, this okay. game. Like I, so, let's not hold our breath for this, which sucks for me personally, because I was excited. I was like, "Ooh, this is awesome!" Then I noticed they didn't announce a date, and I was like, "Interesting." Moving on, Forza Motorsport. That's all. That's the game name, Forza Motorsport. We all saw this coming, but it will not be ready at launch, which is very interesting. This, this, I don't think it's been a long time since I've seen a Forza game, uh, a game, uh, Xbox launch without a Forza, but this is not coming yeah. it, uh, this year which is crazy that's nuts um but you know i well, i brought this up during the watch along and forza is like the perfect game you get to show off how pretty something is so that's what this mm-hmm. game's here for just like look how pretty it is oh yeah i mean i'm sure people are still playing horizon 4 and they're yeah. still doing stuff with that yeah motorsports not my jam i don't think it is yours either is it alex no i've always been more of a horizon cause yeah, I like yeah me, t- me too that's that i just more, more horizon guy more arcadey for me Yep. Now we get into Everwild, which is Rare's game we've known about. 
uh, beautiful trailer. No idea what this game is. Why this? Uh, like, come on, like rare. Please, like, tell me what the game is. I want to be excited, but I have zero idea what that is. So, like, I'm guessing I'm employing some animals in the wild, and they're helping me complete tasks. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like you're some type of like person who's like, not like not, not like a park ranger type of thing, you know. <laughs> But like, <laughs> a park you're, ranger. You know, you're 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 like out in the wild and you're helping you know you're helping these animals and like you they they give you the help in return with certain things that happen. I don't know. That's what I got from it. I couldn't really tell. I don't know. We I I wish I wish I at least had an understanding what the game is. But mm. hey, who am I? Tell me why. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a heart. Tell me why it will be released in parts just like every uh, Don't Nod game. Um, this is an Alaska-bound adventure game. Um, of course, Don't Nod made Life is Strange. Me and Alex love those games, so we will be yes. and, uh, waiting for this game again on Game Pass. First chapter will arrive August 27th. Hopefully, these chapters are a little closer together than they were on Life is Strange 2. Life is Strange... Life is... <laughs> Life is Strange 2 was way too far out. I I, I was losing I interest. I had to wait. I lost interest, dude. You should have. You should have, Alex. I waited for all of them to come out because I played the first episode. Went, this is awesome. And then I waited like three months for the second episode. And then I realized the next, in three more months, the other, I was like, I'm no, I'm just going to wait. I'll wait a year yeah. and play it all. Yeah, that's, and see, I, I need to go back and do that because I played the first one and they did the same thing. I'm like, oh yeah, I need to play episode two. And then I started going back to it, and then I never went back to it. Ori and the Will of the Wisps is getting an update, optimizing it for Xbox Series X. It will play in 4K and 120 frames per second. It's crazy. That's one of those cool things. I'm excited for it to play 4K and 120 frames. Like, yes, give it to my eyeballs. Like, that sounds awesome. Yeah, 120 frames per second. I don't even... That one... Oof. I don't even know if my eyeballs can see that. <laughs> Grounded, coming to Xbox Preview July 28th in five days. Uh, uh, very soon. Obsidian's av adventure game, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, this will be available to try out or like six. This is going to... I'm actually interested in this. So, I wasn't. This trailer was hilarious, first off. If, oh, if, sure. if you want to treat yourself nice, watch this trailer and laugh. It was pretty funny. It's like, like I don't even want to ruin the joke. I want to say it, but I won't ruin the joke. But it, but it's very cool. This seems like a really fun game for me and Alex to play, like for like it's, a for like a weekend, and then we never play it again. And see, I was more interested in this game than I was in that Bug Snatch game <laughs> that, they, that they showed off a couple of weeks ago. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just so random. I just wasn't thinking about it. You just brought up Bug Snack. <laughs> yeah, that's the only one that I can think of. Was bug like, Snacks. But this one, like I. I think I like it because it's like, you know, you can create things and you're, and it's like nostalgic, you know, honey, I shrunk the kids type of thing. I mean, it does look fun too. Like I'm fighting spiders. Yeah. We can fight spiders together. We fight these ants. Mm -hmm. Like, come on. I like um, it. No, yeah, no, I, it's, it's funny. Like with the, the jokes and stuff that they had. Um, Alex hates me cause he won't play this game. Um, uh, they announced, uh, the new outer worlds DLC peril on Gorgon. The expansion arrives September 9th again on Game Pass, which is dope. No, sorry, sorry. So this was a weird one, um, and I don't know if you caught this, Alex. So during the trailer, the you know we get a cool trailer. I'm watching it. I'm excited because I love Outer Worlds and I get to play some more. Near the end of the trailer, bottom right corner, mm -hmm. there is a quick snippet of text, and I am literally going to play it right now. Hold on, let me mute it. Um, there's a quick snippet of text that says like oh hey if, uh, it's on game pass outer worlds is on game pass and the dlc will be 50 percent off if you have game pass i think is what it says where is that where is it at it's somewhere ah it's not on here hmm. i guess it's eh. okay it's not on here maybe i maybe uh, i was seeing things but i'm pretty sure that's what it said i don't think you get this for free i think you have to pay at least 50%, maybe 75% if I misread it to get this. But hey, I'll pay it. I'm fine. I just thought that was interesting that they quickly brought that up and put it away. Um, so September 9th is where they're getting it. And then Obsidian yeah. surprises us, and I am super excited. 
Um, there is a new RPG they are making called Avowed, um, and it's very Skyrim-like. Um, Alex, what did you think about this announcement? Yeah, I didn't. I, at first, I was I did not know what the hell it was, and I was like, "It sounded like Skyrim," and I was like, "Skyrim," and then I looked at it, and I'm like, "Dragon's Dogma?" No, and then I just kept thinking, I was like, "What?" And then I saw it was a whole, it was a new IP, but I'm like, "This is interesting" because it was very uh, Skyrim-ish. So like you, the, you could you tell they man. went they went deep Skyrim and they went deep Lord of the Rings. Deep Lord of the Rings. Oh, for sure, dude. That underbelly was 100% Minds of Moria. Like, Jesus. Even with the giant Balrog walking towards you. Like, the Balrog lighting up the hallway when it's walking towards you. Like, that was 100% Lord of the Rings. <laughs> like, it looked, like yeah. it looked so much Lord of the Rings before he takes uh the sword out i'm like or when he looks at the sword you see the runes i'm like is this lord of the rings because you know they use runes uh sorry runes mm-hmm. they use runes in, in like swords and things um i thought they got some sort of ip deal with lord of the rings and no it's it's a whole mm-hmm. new thing it just looks very much like it yeah um and then we get yeah, it definitely looks cool. yeah it does look cool um, and then there's a new interactive narrative game in the works called As Dusk Falls. Um, it looks like a uh, kind of, what would you call this, Alex? Like a um, uh, visual novel type game. It, it almost looks like a motion, a, a graphic novel type movie, but it's a video game. Um, it looks like pictures of people and they like draw it. I, I, mm-hmm. I'm not super excited for this because I'm not, I don't love how it looks uh i might try it when it comes out because again this is on gay pass i I don't lose anything by playing it but but i didn't love the art style if i'm being honest what did you think which one was this one again this is as dusk falls what was the name on it ah gotcha yeah um it it, yeah i wasn't i wasn't down for it like i'm like okay it's i mean um i will check it out like gameplay and stuff like that once it comes out just to see but like right from from what i saw i'm like no it's not for me yeah it definitely is for me unless it's very compelling if it has a very compelling narrative i will play it yeah but visually it does not appeal to me um Mm -hmm. then we get destiny 2 which was honestly a surprise for me because they've been long playstation buddies um but destiny 2 comes out shows off beyond light and announces that destiny 2 beyond light and all of its existing expansions are coming to game pass in september um, I'll read this whole snippet. It looks like Game Pass subscribers will have a chance to catch up on Bungie's loot shooter before the release of Destiny 2's next big expansion, Beyond Light, coming in November, which will also be included in Game Pass. The game will be streamable on xCloud, which they also announced after that, with a Game Pass Ultimate subscription. You do have to have Game Pass Ultimate. And it will be optimized for Series X sometime soon, letting you finally play the game. Finally play the game in 60 frames per second on console. Finally 60 frames per second. My God, we've been wanting that for so long, and they're finally it's doing it. It's not gonna happen. It's ha- no, they just said that, Alex. <laughs> it's, it's, they're, not, it's not. It's not gonna. It's gonna oh, they lied. No, they're, no, they're gonna do it, and then it's not gonna work. <laughs> they're gonna do it and be like, guys, we can't figure it out. <laughs> uh, you're just gonna have to deal with it. We somehow have made like, uh, we've somehow made it we've somehow made the frames lower so now like it's like twenty five so we're just not gonna mess with it anymore. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Alex, I fucking hate you. All right, moving on to a game I thought was at first Batman, which I was like, what? They got Batman, but it's not. It is Stalker Two. Um, it is a sequel to two thousand seven Chernobyl survival game, um, and it is a it, it's one of those games where I was like, cool. <laughs> I was like, I don't yeah. even, I didn't even hear of the first one before, so. Yeah, I've never heard of it before, but it looked cool. Yeah, it looks dope, but I'm like, eh, whatever. It, it, this, this is one of those things where it has to, it has to get me in. I don't know what this game is. Um, and then yeah. Hellblade Two was quickly shown off a little bit, and they didn't do much. They just showed like, oh hey, look how good it looks. Um, and then that was literally it. Uh, then we go into a very, I'm a Alex. You're gonna you're gonna mm-hmm. agree with me on this, and I had someone on Twitter. Me and me and him had a discussion. We were angry. You know where I'm going with this. As soon as I bring it up, they show up Double Fine, right? They show the Double Fine mm-hmm. logo. Then the very next thing is Jack Black. Then he starts singing. 
what does that tell you like, like what does that tell you that might be like why would you like I, like those three uh, things all together i knew it was psychonauts 2 and i still was like is this brutal legends there's no way i thought it was brutal legends. that was obs- I, oh my god i knew i literally oh knew what song he was gonna sing because he was at a what what do you call those i guess i guess was it a convention it might have been one of the conventions and they had like a panel and jack black was just singing and whatever and he was talking with um uh tim schaefer and he was singing that song he sings there he was he was belting that main tune and i that's how i knew it was still psychonauts too but i even me i was like is this fucking brew legends too but alas i don't think that will ever happen (laughs) I don't think it would ever happen either, but hey, we got skate, so maybe Brutal Legends could be a thing one if day. We, hey, if we bother them enough, maybe they'll do it just to shut us up. Hey, man, I hope. But this, it does look cool, it's though. Like, I am interested in Psychonauts a little more now, because that, that was a kind of cool trailer. I'm interested because of the music, but it is a, it's, it's, it's very, it's, it looks weird to me. Like, I, like, I it's don't know. meant I to be like weird. Too many so I was on. I yeah. was again. I'm sorry. I keep bringing this up, but during the watch along, I said, uh, "This is a game that you either make it on acid or you play it on acid. Maybe both. Mm-hmm. But you are supposed to take some sort of illicit drug, mainly a <laughs> a a uh, uh, something that distorts your reality, and play that because that was insane. That mm-hmm. looked that looked straight out of the mind of someone who did an LSD trip and just and just drew for two hours <laughs> it, oh, for sure. it it looks it looks wonky but but it, it it's supposed to be like psychonauts is supposed to be weird so and mm. and boy alex you know i know you love vacuuming i know you do so i got a whole game about vacuuming for you all right it's called the gunk mm-hmm. it's called the gunk it's an xbox exclusive it's coming sometime in 2021 there's this girl with this robot vacuum arm, and she sucks up this black goo, the gunk. Yeah, man. Awesome. That yeah, was a great, vacuum. great trailer. Great trailer. I like, like that was playing, and I was like, are you, like, like you gotta show something That's else amazing. other I'm than vacuuming. You have to. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. That's a it's a horror game for those germaphobes. Uh, that's true. Um, Ho- Howie Mandel is that that's a that's a horror game for him. He does not like that. Um, yep. And then we go to something that got me very excited. I was very, I was probably too excited for this. I was screaming. Tetris Effect is coming mm-hmm. to Xbox One and Series X with multiplayer, with Tetris Effect connected. So there will be a co-op experience Tetris Effect coming to Xbox One and Series X later this year. Multiplayer getting added to existing versions of the game on other platforms and a free update next summer. But in the meantime, we will get Tetris Effect, and I cannot wait to play this game. Tetris Effect looks awesome. I've always wanted to play it on my PSVR. Alas, it's just one of the games that I've just never gotten to. But hey, now I can play it on my Xbox. Yep. It's exciting, and I've never played Tetris Effect, and I'm excited to do it because I did want to try it on the VR, but I never got the chance, so at least I'll get to play the game itself on here. 100%. Then we get to Crossfire X, which I forgot existed. Um... Uh, so it's a, it's a shooter from Smile Gate and Remedy. Shout out to Remedy, um, and yeah. it it looks cool. But then near the end, it got like super cliche with like the way they were talking. I was like, this is getting kind of lame, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but but what any any thoughts, Alex? Um, it seems like we got to the part where you didn't care because you because you haven't said a single word. <laughs> I mean. I, I for the I I was pretty much from the rest of the point on to for the conference. Um, I pretty much was like, okay, I'll be our, I I'm. It looks interesting. It looks cool, until the point until we get to the like the the very last thing. Yeah. Okay. It, 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 I'm kind of similar, but it, but I'm of the mind of it's coming to Game Pass, so I'm trying all of these games. No, least. no, for sure. I definitely want to try some of them just because it, it is on. It is, yeah, it is on Game Pass. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> back to it. 
Um, Warhammer 40k Dark Tide was announced. Now I do think I I think I misspoke earlier. I think this was the game I thought was Batman because it starts with that. Yeah, this is yeah, cause, yeah, that dark that dark, yeah, the uh, very thing. It dark. Like, it looked like Arkham. Under it looks like literally the underground railroad of Gotham City. Like it was pretty. I was like because mm-hmm. they held on it for so long, and I was like, is Batman about to drop down or something? Like stop it. Like don't oh, do it for I that. that I, like I, they I, shouldn't have done it for that long. It, it, it just they shouldn't have. But um. Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, unlike Vermintide, is therefore set in the series grim futuristic setting, coming sometime 2021, um, and it looks like it will feature some sort of four-player co-op. Cool. This is one of those games where I'm gonna have to see what it is. I don't even know what it is because 40k usually is like like a strategy game, isn't it? So it looks like this one is. Yeah, Warhammer has always been one of those it, like strategy it, type. It things. says hack and slash, so I guess I'm shooting and then probably have a sword or something. I don't know. Uh... I'm not sure, to be honest. And the next game, I'm sure lots of people got excited. I'm, I'm sure everyone loved this. Uh, this is not for me. A new version of Final of, of Fantasy Star Online 2 is coming 2021 called New Genesis. Um, it is an MMORPG and is a timed exclusive on Xbox. I, okay, it was cool. I'm just not, yep. not me. It's not for me um this seems yeah, like i used to play the first one like i haven't played this one it's one of those things where i hear in the distance someone really excited but like for me oh, i'm for like sure. I'm, I'm like i'm happy for those guys but for me i'm like whatever hey we got we got our friend roy man he lo- he loves that game yeah yeah that's the someone medium. that's someone that likes it um then we get to <laughs> the medium which i'm very interested in psychological horror game the medium is out this holiday um so they they supported a a, a Dual reality is what they call it. So that's what my thing is. Are you looking at this, both screens at the same time? I must no no. So it looks like there's two realities happening simultaneously in the game, and it looks like. But, go ahead. But the thing is, like, okay, for example, like you know how in a way out, like the split the split screen thing, like you know you you're on one side, I'm on one side. Yeah. Is this game gonna do that to where like? there's two Co-op. screens and you see two people no it looks like it looks like it's simultaneous so you're existing in two worlds at the same time and i'm assuming you're jumping in between them to try and figure out how to get through certain puzzles okay so kind of like because um... if you remember this is one of the games where you don't you you don't fight you you just yeah, ex- yeah. you just are you just exist yeah I'm did, trying to think of a game that uh, there was a game that did that, that to where you jump back and forth. Maybe Dishonored Two, you go back and forth between the two uh, realities, the past and the present. I think that's what Dishonored Two did. I know that's what Titanfall Two did. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was Titanfall Two. Because you had you had the time thing where like you hit the button and you went back yeah. like a few years. Which... Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, so maybe that's what you're thinking of. But but yeah, this seems like there's literally two games happening at once and you're having to switch between two of them is what yeah, i got is what i got out of it this game i damn i like horror games so i definitely want to try this one it looks pretty terrifying especially that thing with the long fingers and arms saying let me touch you and i was like oh i don't like that oh, sure. i didn't like that mm-hmm. very much i didn't like that very much it reminds me of the thing from evil within that go- that weird thing that's in the ground that comes at you yeah um and then next but not least alex Playground Games Ooh. is making the Fable game. Now, of course, we knew this, but we get to see it. I'll be in all of its glorious, glorious textures and art. And the specific Fable humor that I love was shown off in a very, very interesting... The teasiest of all teasers was shown. Oh, for sure. And what I, and what I said during, again, the watch along, I keep bringing it up. The fairy there getting eaten by the toad is the that is fable in a nutshell like that is fable yeah. like that that was the perfect way to symbolize fable in a in a in a in a, in a like trailer way you you see this frog mm. eat this thing. like it's per- perfect i cannot wait for this game in four years very excited you think that's how long it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be a while probably not for not four years. That was just to make someone like cry a little. But it's it's probably twenty twenty three, early twenty twenty three, late twenty twenty three, probably. It takes a long time to make the engine. I'm assuming they had to make the engine for this game. Oh, for sure, dude. And I, I can't wait because 
uh, as soon as I saw uh, it said Playground Games, I'm like, oh, I know what this is. And then it went down to the pommel, and you see the Albion logo. Mm. I'm like, man. Mm. I need to watch it again just just to experience it. You know what I mean? And Alex, yeah. that's the showcase. What did you think? Um, I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, there's a lot of things. Like, I actually want to try everything doesn't mean i like i will go through it all but like i definitely do want to ch- like take a chance on all those games and try them out mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it's hard f- it, it's it's hard to answer this question so i want to do pose a question to the audience for this one did this sell anyone it was anyone on the fence about getting an xbox and did this showcase sell it i did ask a couple people on twitter a few people uh said yes a few people said no um i had a very specific person say he's getting it but this didn't sell him at all like this was this didn't incentivize he's getting it anyways but it didn't incentivize him to get, mm. to get it so i'm just curious on what people saw did you like it did you not like it comment below tweet at us whatever fits your fancy patreon whatever i just curious like did this work did, did you guys like this i did but it's not like they have to sell me they don't really have to sell alex either we're in the ecosystem and we're yeah, they they have to mess up pretty badly for us to leave so um curious of what everyone else thinks i think as a whole as a whole the showcase was good it yeah. was not the hypest of hype that the ps5 event was i don't think um specifically no, I, I don't think it was amazing specifically because they didn't have a known quantity that i'm getting excited about i am excited that there's so many new ips that i get to play there's so many new games that i haven't experienced yet that i get to try out that that excites mm-hmm. me the the way that you can really excite some people is in, including something and i'm not saying they could have gotten this or it's their fault that they didn't get this but this is just an example getting something like wb games montreal's batman game to be showcased here is a known game that we know that is going to be good right like like mm. just something that we know will be good cuz almost every game here is unknown and we haven't touched a game previously most if not all like like you like everything that we have played before is DLC that's coming so i don't think that counts i, I was hoping for anything like a batman montreal game anything like a harry potter game even though it's a new ip we know that's gonna be fun like like something like that i think that's i think that's what this was lacking this was lacking a known game that everyone likes and loves and it got announced here and and then we can always tie it to xbox because it was announced at an xbox event that's i think personally that's what i think because because uh uh, what what are they called sony sony got spider-man right they got Mm -hmm. they got that fantastic and, and horizon those are two known quantities we know they're going to be good that's why that that uh, event was so good because we get two games that we know are going to be great and we know they're coming this one yeah. i i love almost all of these games on here but mm. they are new they're not proven i don't know for sure if i'm going to like half of these games so that personally for me is what they um lacked um, I do think this is a win for Xbox people, though. And this was essentially a giant advertisement for, for Game Pass. Oh, my God, dude, for sure. Like, like this, at the end of the day, that's what this was. I mean, pretty much it's just showing, like, it, they're pretty much showing, like, look, you can get all these games on Game Pass. And they said that probably, what, four times during the entire thing? I think they said that oh, in the sure. beginning, at the end, and then at least two times in the middle. But, mm. but yeah, like, this it's clear that xbox is setting a tone of service not system right this this was a focus on game pass this is an xbox showcase that they focused on their service not their system and that's perfectly fine i'm fine with that i love game pass keep it coming yeah um but that is a different approach than we saw from from sony yeah, no, it's a very different approach, but um, I do feel at the end, I mean, it was, I did enjoy myself watching it, and I I mean, like you said, I mean, they don't have to sell on us, but it definitely sold me on a couple games yeah. that I didn't think I would play. Yeah, 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 I I, I had a great time. Um, yeah. I had a great time talking, I was drinking an L.A., a cold, nice, a nice cold L.A., too, I was having a great time watching this thing. I'm excited for the next month. And by the way, I forgot. They ended it with saying, we did not show you everything. So we will show you more in the coming months is what they said. I do yeah. believe the the August event probably exists. Um, 
because they have to announce the price at some point. <laughs> I think that's what one will get. We'll, we'll, we'll get like another big event, and I think, or like, and I think that's what we'll see. Uh, X Cloud pricing and everything else. And I don't know if you saw this, Alex. Did we talk about this last week? I think we did. Yeah, we probably did. Let let's let me retract that statement I was about to bring up. Did did we go over last week that there's the no 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 I did not add it so so we didn't uh, Alex I sent you this um, kind of leaked rumor y thing so I believe it was August 9th is when PlayStation's mm. event is ah, going yes, to yes. announce pricing and pre orders. I yes. believe the next week we're getting an Xbox event that's announcing consoles and pre orders. Um, mm. I'm surprised Sony's going first, but I don't think they have a choice. I think I think I think they've lost the game of chicken that for some reason these two companies are yeah. doing because they should have already have announced pre orders and pricing. I don't know what's taking them so long. Yeah, they, yeah, they should have been done it. I mean like I feel like if E three was still on, they would have announced it at E three. So like what's the difference? You know, I wanna say you're wrong, but you know, m- Maybe that maybe they would have. I don't know. Like now that everything's so stretched out, it's hard to say you're wrong because it makes it a harder choice to to win to announce this. And maybe mm-hmm. COVID messed everything up. You know, we're not in the boardroom talks. Maybe they haven't set down how many units they're making. Maybe you know, I, I know they recently extended how many PS5s they're making uh, through March. So maybe that's yep. what the issue. Maybe they don't have a full concrete of how they're getting pre-orders out to people. But they said that they're limiting one per household for PS4s as, as if they can enforce yeah. that in any way. But you know, there's just so many options. So I think not to delay over the point and not to extend from the showcase topic, but but hopefully next month we will have everything ready for we can just get these things pre-ordered and out the way. Oh, for sure, dude. Um hopefully we'll we'll see the prices hopefully we'll see release dates hopefully we see everything some more shocking announcements maybe you know just a little bit i'm not asking for too too much but there's some things that that are left that could be discussed there's some companies that haven't talked about the game so i'm excited alex what are your lasting thoughts what do you want to leave with the audience about this game showcase what what is the last thought that you want to bring up Hmm. Um, I definitely recommend Game Pass. Like, <laughs> out, of, out of everything that you see, <laughs> I mean, it, like it's so it's crazy that they uh, like they there was even I had sent you a video, and, and they they had got rid of it about they were saying that X Cloud is gonna be part of Game Pass of free of charge or Game Pass Ultimate, excuse me, for free. Of charge. Yes, yes, I actually have that on the docket. If this was a normal week, I would have brought it up. Um, but yeah, Xbox. I think it's just for the topic of Game Pass. No, of course. Well. Yeah, no. Project X Cloud is included in Game Pass Ultimate. You do not pay for that. They they announced that earlier this week. I no, it was last week. It was it was last it was last Friday. Um, they announced it. They brought it up, and and it's it's quote free of charge. Yeah. It's it's you're paying for the service, but but I mean that's insane. And that's what we've been saying. I mean, I it, like, it, make, it makes it even I feel like Game Pass Ultimate is like the best subscription that I've ever seen bang for your buck man i have to agree maybe the the only thing that rivals that is maybe netflix maybe i like i there, mm. there's so so much different content so it's hard to compare those two things but but yeah. but good lord like it yeah if you're on the xbox and you don't have a game pass subscription like really what are you doing like this is for yeah. it's free games i know you're paying for it i know i know but you don't understand what i mean like free games they're free servicing that it's just so so easy to get them and it's just a nice service that that com- that every sing- couple weeks, couple months, I'm getting a new game to play, and I don't pay for. No, oh, which sure. is awesome. And it, yeah, for sure. And then even if you let's say uh, you wanted to just try Game Pass, and you're like, oh, okay, this was fun, and you don't get any more, but then you remembered you liked, you really enjoyed this game on Game Pass. You now you want to buy it. But if we're without Game Pass, you never had the opportunity to try it out to buy it. Yeah, yeah, good points all around. Good post on around. Alex, this this has been a fun talk over the game showcase. Uh, my lasting thoughts overall, good good showcase. Good um, good talk on subscriptions like me and Alex brought up. This was a great Game Pass commercial. Um, not so great on, I think, the system um, because nothing was visually appealing, but that's very hard to show people. You can't really show people in a giant stream where everything's compressed to 720p so people can download it through their internet. It's just not going to happen. It's yeah. not. It's not a feasible way to show people how something good looks in 4K, 120 yeah. frames. Honestly, whatever. 
during the whole stream, my stuff, I had to back out and go through it a couple times because it kept lagging and loading. Yeah, so I actually had the same issue during the watch along. I've I think I've brought this watch along up seven times, <laughs> but but during the watch along, they did pause me probably a total five times maybe. But but yeah, I was having issues as well. Yeah, I was definitely having issues. Uh, I'm wondering if it's because there were so many people trying to stream it at once, and maybe, maybe. there were some issues going on. Yeah, maybe. maybe uh but but yeah i i'm excited for the future i'm excited for next month i'm excited for launch uh more halo that I, I, i'm ready to play yes. alex and halo and beat some people in swat i'll see you yes all on the battlefield in swat all right see me see me on blood gulch okay all right uh, and on that note thank you guys for joining us thank you for being an achiever and joining us every single friday on a youtube and podcast service of your choice and thank you for going over to patreon.com slash cg achievers and giving us a dollar so that you can watch every single that's right every single month getting an exclusive sent straight to your ear holes via the god of the internet thank you for joining us alex thank you for having this discussion with me. this was a great time i love talking about these game casts with you or a game Same showcase, thing. whatever you want to call it. And on that note, I'm going to go play some more Ghost of Tsushima and complain. Because that's what I do Same. now. And it's, and it's like it's upsetting, and I apologize to all of our viewers. I promised you guys, and I have failed you. He's failed you. I, I told you. you. The, I have not... I have not gotten the platinum for for Last of Us because of Ghost of Tsushima. Mm-hmm. I blame Ghost of Tsushima. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 you, really, hey, you pay you 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 wrote out checks your ass couldn't catch. Okay, okay, you couldn't catch it. Look, I really had it. I was I was playing it, and I'm like, I want to play Ghosts, so I actually saved it and went to Ghosts, and I haven't gone back to it since. But I will get it. I will get that platinum. I believe when I see it, Mr. Two Platinums. And anyways, on that note, go achieve. Go achieve.